In this lesson, we'll continue our review of Math Test 9, Section 4, Calculate Permitted. We're now in the grid-in section, questions 34 through 36. All right, let's take a look at problem 34. Based on the graph above and how many of the games played did the soccer team score goals equal to the median number of goals for the 29 games? So they tell us that 29 is the total number of games, so it saves you time from adding them up based on the histogram. 29 is an odd number, so if you think about to get the median, we're going to subtract one, the, the, the median's in the middle, and that means there's going to be 28, that means there's 14 on either side. So if you think about it, we're just looking for the 15th term. That would be the midpoint. And a good shortcut for these problems is, I would definitely start on this side, we have already eight games here. We're just looking to pass through 15. We're at eight, but now we have nine. So if you add up these two, we have gone all the way from eight to 17. We have passed through the median. And so right away, you should be able to recognize that the median is two. And the question is saying, in how many of the games played did the soccer team score goals equal to the median? number of goals. And so we're looking for goals two, same as the median, which is this second bar. And how many of those games did they score two? Nine. And that is the answer. So just pay attention to that question, what the question is asking for and reading it carefully. Let's take a look at 35. Gisela would owe 15,500 in taxes each year if she were not eligible for any tax deductions. This year, Gisela is eligible for tax deductions that reduce the amount of the taxes she owed by $2,325. If the tax re deductions reduce the taxes Gisela owed this year by D percent, what's D? We're just looking for the, the, the decrease, and they're asking for it as a percent, so be careful. So normally it'd be 15.5, but now she is saving, you could just use your calculator here, 23.25. So this is a straightforward question. 23.25, we want to see what percent that is from 15,500, that's the savings she's gonna receive. And I typed it wrong. 2325 divided by, I'm use, just type it in, so 15,500. Okay, so this would be 0.15. You wanna be careful, it's not asking for you not gonna grid in 0.15. They're not asking for the decimal, just read it as a percent. So this is 15 because that reads as 15%. You would grid in 15. So just be careful on that question. All right, last one on this page is number 36. The system of equations above have has no solution. If A and B are constant, what's the value of A divided by B? All right, we've, we've talked about this before. What types of lines have no solutions? That means they never intersect. They would be parallel. They have the same slope and a different y-intercept. And you don't have to put these in a slope-intercept form. All you have to do is make the a and the b coefficients the same. And so here, we already have the a and b coefficients for the top equation, and the bottom are just the same. This is actually a pretty straightforward question. So a is going to be 3 fourths. So that would read as 3 fourths x. And then b is going to be 1 half. Right, it's not negative, it's just, it's just the value of b. And the question is asking just for a divided by b. And by the way, now these are the same, but they have a different y-intercept, so they do not intersect. If they did have the same y-intercept, they would be equivalent, and they'd have infinite solutions. But these definitely have no solutions because they never intersect. And so we're just looking for 3 fourths divided by 1 half. And you could make this into 2 fourths. You could use your calculator. You could just multiply both the top and bottom by four. I haven't changed the equation at all. The answer is three over two. You could also grid in 1.5.